Hi everyone, my name is Giuliano. In this video, I'll show you how you can add and use two new web parts in SharePoint. I'm talking about the Organization web part and My Feed web part. The first one allows you to have an organigram of your organization. The second one displays recent documents, meetings, files, and pages or articles. Okay, let's jump on my PC and I'll show you every step. Let's go. Here I am on my PC and I have SharePoint open in the browser. More specifically, I have the home site here available. Now I want to add this organigram web part at the bottom of this page. I have just to edit this page. Then scrolling down, there is this section that I will use to add my organigram web part. You can type in the toolbox organization web part and this will show up. Clicking on organization chart, now we have the web part added. So first off, you need to add the email or you have to just type the name of the user that you want to display every time that you open the page. I want to display the user Ligu. And now the organigram loads every, every members related with Ligu. For example, there are four people that are reporting to Ligu. So editing this web part, we can see that you can decide to have a specific number of reporting levels up. So I can click on one, for example, and now we have a new user on top of Ligu because Patti Fernandez is the manager of Ligu. So you can even increase this number, two, three, four. It depends, of course, from the size of the company. This is a small company. We, have, we don't have other levels. But now what you can do is clicking on republish. Now the web part is available here. But the cool thing that you can do here is navigate through every user. So that means, for example, that I can check ready Harshi if our other teammates or other um, people that are reporting to her. So there are no other people. So let me go again on Ligu. And I can even go on top on Patti Fernandez. I am displaying now the, the president of the company and I am seeing that there are three people that are reporting to Patti Fernandez. So this is very nice as web part because there is this great feature that allows to navigate every user and display every manager. Maybe you are wondering now how you can add a manager to a user. Well, there are two ways. The first one is opening the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. This is the URL and then click on Exchange. This will open the Exchange Admin Center. Microsoft is changing the UI, is creating a new UI of this Admin Center. But we have to use the classic one because in this classic experience there is included the feature that allows you to add a manager to a user. Then you have to click on recipients and for example you can click on Joanna Lawrence to highlight this user and, and then you can click on the, on the pencil here. Finally on organization. Here there is the field manager. So for the moment we have already a manager Ligu but you can remove it and you can add a new one, you can browse all users in your organization and you can assign another manager, for example, I'm adding now Diego Siciliani, but I will not confirm now this change. The second option is to open directly the portal azure.com behind the Office 365 tenant. So you have to log in, of course, with your admin credentials and then you can navigate through the Active Directory. So here you have to click on the Users section and from here you can select a user at Elevance, for example, 
And, and then here you have the ability to change the manager. So we have Miriam Graham now as manager, but you can edit this property by clicking on the pencil again here. And here there is the field manager. So here, here you can remove Miriam Graham, for example, or you can click on change and then you can select a new user. Let me jump now on the second web part, my feed web part. Here I have another Office 365 tenant. I have here a normal team site. Let me edit this homepage because here I want to add my feed web part. You can just type in the search box of the toolbox feed and you, this will my feed web part will show up. Clicking on it, you will have a bunch of information already available here but you can edit this web part by clicking again on the on the pencil and then there is several options here the first one is maximum number of items that you want to display then you can even include sharepoint news or not this of course will change the content of this web part but let me now leave the SharePoint news because I want to have an overview of every posts or articles which is relevant for me. Then there is a useful link here, learn more to get more information about this web part. So for example, here you can display the upcoming meetings, files, you can even collect all videos in stream that are related with you somehow. And finally, again, files or posts and news. Let me go back now and let me publish this page because it looks good, the configuration. And I am ready now to, to have a look to this web part. So I can click on see hole to have an overview, full overview of this my feed web part. So where I have basically only this web part in the page. Going back again, now I have in the first position this PowerPoint presentation. I can directly jump on the file on open in PowerPoint desktop app. I can even save for later if I have no time now, but I want to, I want to read later this PowerPoint presentation. There is here an ellipsis button that open a panel with additional feature. The first one is share. You can share this file with other people or you can just copy the link. Now here there is another option very important because explain you why basically you are seeing this content. So if I click on it, I have a description here that tell me we show recent activity from people we think you work with. And that's the reason why you see this, this content. I am in fact logged as Wonder Woman in this case, but I'm seeing this web art content provided by Giuliano De Luca. The reason why is because Wonder Woman and Giuliano De Luca are teammates. So they, are, they work every day together with files, meeting, and so on. And that's the reason why I'm seeing now article posted by Giuliano De Luca or file shared with Wonder Woman. Now I can do the same. I can, for example, save for later a news for the same reason of the presentation. Maybe I have no time. But this is a very powerful web part that brings you every content in Office 365 related with you. Okay, that was a quick tutorial how you can add and use two new web parts added recently by Microsoft in SharePoint, the organization web part and my feed web part. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. If you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, put a comment down below. I read them all and this is also how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye!